Hello, Internet, and welcome to Tertsy Entertainment. My name's Alex, a.k.a. Tertsy, I guess? Tertsy? Turtle Task? Turtle Tastic. And this is my first video on this channel. I had another channel, but I don't want to get into it. I have videos on the French channel that I'm in, but again, I'll talk about that later. Now, for my very first video, I actually want to go over a topic that I think is kind of important. YouTube's killing itself slowly. Now, I know what you're saying. But, Alex, how can YouTube be killing itself? It's not a physical person. That's a good point. But here's my response. YouTube is run basically by its creators. And therefore, if you limit creators, you're limiting what YouTube can offer. And YouTube's fantastic. I can sit down on the toilet and watch YouTube if I want, or I could not do that. I don't know, joke here? Joke, insert, insert joke? Here? I won't do that. Oh, obviously, the second it got is just like putting up to its head. It's just... <laughs> but in all honesty, YouTube is kind of run by its creators. Therefore, if you limit your creators, you're basically going to be limiting what YouTube can do, how much money it's going to make, and therefore, YouTube would kind of, in a way, be killing itself, when you think about it. Now, how is YouTube limiting itself lately? Mainly, I'd say it's probably these new rules that they've been adding. And yeah, I get it. Stuff like cyberbullying and advertising friendliness is important. But at the same time, come on, YouTube. You know what your creators do for a living. Some of your biggest creators, like Leafy's Hero, I love to watch, Fire Cynical, and many, many more use vulgar language or... Sometimes, cyber bully people, and it's just, <laughs> you kind of got to get you. Now, I'm not saying, oh, we should go then, and we should make sure that everybody's offended by everything. But what we should do is we shouldn't force people to make inoffensive content. That's, that's annoying. Why would you want to see that? Why would I want to see content that doesn't challenge me? If I want to see content that doesn't challenge me, I would watch YouTube toy channels, for crying out loud. Oh! Personally, I think YouTube was fine with its seven other community guidelines as well. No nudity, no stealing, no stuff like that. Stuff like that. Simple stuff like that that can be followed. It would have worked if you would have just followed them. YouTube would have been fine if it just followed its own community guidelines from the start. It had perfect ones. They were being followed if YouTube would have enforced them. Seriously, it seems like YouTube has this mentality of, Oh, these ones don't work. Throw them out, burn them in a fucking fire, and just fucking throw new ones in. Just throw new ones in that nobody's going to agree with at all. Everybody's going to hate them. And now I know what you're thinking now would probably be something along the lines of, Alex, I just watch cat videos on the internet, and put them away by funny people, and game grumps and stuff. How does this affect me in the slightest with their new rules? First thing I want to say is people like that kind of know me on the internet. I get it, YouTube's just for having fun, but at the same time, people gotta realize people make careers out of this crap. Some of their favorite creators and some of the people they watch could be doing this for a career. I hate that mentality of just, oh, I only watch this kind of video, so therefore it doesn't affect me. Because chances are it probably does. And honestly, if you do just watch Game Grumps and stuff like that, that's great. But now these new rules that limit vulgar language, and that's vague, honestly, then they're probably going to get watered down now. You know, I don't want to see Game Grumps that's friggin' PG. PG, P, PG Grumps, P, P Grumps, The Grumps, Game Grumps. Seriously, some of my favorite creators use vulgarity, but even the ones that don't are still probably going to get screwed over by these new advertising-friendly rules. It makes no sense. And even if you don't swear in your videos, you can still be taken out for the super vague and makes no sense talking about events. What? What does that even mean, talking about events? Now, I personally don't know what to do about it, like to stop YouTube from doing stuff like this. The only thing I can think of is boycotting YouTube, and we all know that's not an option because people are making jobs off that, and they just stop watching them. Things are going to go down the cracker even more. And I would say make a hashtag for Twitter, but honestly, I don't use Twitter that much, so screw it. If you want to hashtag them, hashtag freedom for the creators. I don't care. Just 
I don't know what to do, but I think we should do something. I did want to dedicate my first video to this topic that is literally important to me, because I want to become a YouTuber, and I want to be able to say what I want to say. I want to be able to swear if I have to, I want to be able to say, talk about current events if I have to. I want to be able to do what I want to do. Freedom is important for creators on YouTube. If you limit that freedom, you're limiting YouTube. I don't want to live in a world where everything's got like safety foam on it and everybody's like, oh, you gotta be defensive, oh, you gotta be safe, you gotta be safe for advisors and investors and all this bullcrap. I hate that. YouTube is for creators and creators should be able to do what they want. There should be limits to that, yes, but honestly, we shouldn't limit them as much as YouTube seems to want to. That's all I want to talk about in this video. I'll see you guys later. My name's Alex, also known as AKA Turtsy and Turtament. Thank you, IHE Commenter, for that name, by the way. And I'll see you guys later. He's my tortoise. His name is Larry. Look at him and give me those YouTube views. Look at him and give me those YouTube views. Oh, he's snorted. He's happy. He's a happy horse. He's a Russian red horse, I believe. He's cool though. YouTube would have been fine if it just fought. Fuck! Finally. YouTube, seriously, it would have been fine if you would have just followed your original community guidelines instead of letting people get away with it. I can't believe it's just a bunch of channels that were getting away with your friggin' guidelines. Let's see. Reaction channels, the other channels like that, I, dude, I can't figure that out. See, YouTube had solid rules, but it just didn't actually follow them. People got away with doing stupid stuff like you can pull, you can, you can file fuck, you can file fuckery, you can file fuckery. Here's the fuckery file. You can file it. You can be like, hey, look, here's a bunch of fuckery, and you can throw the fucking one of these outtakes. By the way, this outtakes this.